blurring the lines between indoor and outdoor living is part of modern Australian design. Yeah, it's increasing your living area by emphasising and integrating that connection with the landscape. It makes both financial and architectural sense. Yeah, but in the wrong hands, it can be a bit of a mess. Mm. However, we're about to show you a home that is a masterclass in not just blurring the lines, but erasing them. This is pure modernism. It's a monochromatic masterpiece. In design and architecture, there's nothing more powerful or beautiful than one simple idea. And here we have a home based on the simple design principle of less is more. No decoration. Instead, the emphasis goes back on how the structure goes together. You can have a home that feels really warm but still has plenty of interest. This is a glass house that is all class. Well, how do these modernist principles translate to the interior palette? Joe, we're left with black and white. What do you think? Look, I absolutely love it. It's timeless and it's elegant. I think the one thing that you need to remember when you're working with black, it shows every single mark. I love the look of it, but it, there is extra maintenance that comes with it. But when it's done like this, absolutely brilliant. I mean, look at this. This is a black Finex finish on this island bench. It's a beautiful matte finish. It was the first time this product was used in Australia. Looks brilliant. Yeah, and in this hero central space, there's a bit of yin and yang going on. Yeah. On this side, a white bench here clad, not in marble, really looks like Carrera, but it's actually porcelain veneer on a carcass, a lot cheaper than marble, doesn't etch, doesn't scratch. Part of what adds to the purity and the cleanliness of this design is there's so much storage that's hidden in both these island benches that you're just left with these clean lines. Mm. So all the, the stuff that you need for a kitchen, your pantry things, your kettles and that, is actually hidden away in that butler's pantry behind us. Now this entire composition was done by a female architect who also happens to be a builder and had to convince her husband, the electrician, that it was all worthwhile to live in a glass house. Oh well, yeah, I mean, it's because she's the owner of this place as well. And I think a lot of people would have a reservation. Oh, no. I mean, you think about living in a glass room like this, it's like, oh, you can't really run naked and grab a cup over in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> However, here they can actually almost get away with that because you actually only see the roof plane. Mm. There's a bit of cutting and filling on the site, so effectively the external wall of this room is that beautiful greenery and that grass hill but to achieve pure modernism you need a hard floor surface yeah the entire plan rests on a canvas of terrazzo tile and the same effect could be achieved with polished concrete but it's one of those materials that can run seamlessly across a threshold and that creates this beautiful alfresco area leading on to this deck area the other thing to remember about modernism it's only possible since the invention of steel. What that does is gives us these enormous, long, thin profiles, here creating a three-metre cantilever eave, which is so important in keeping the sun off all this glass. There's a lot of logic in this plan, from the big, open family communal areas, breaks down into a media room, and then the architect turns the building at right angles where all the private sleeping quarters are. But what that does also is create a frame of architecture round the open green lawn and the pool. And that's important in any style of design, particularly in Australia, putting emphasis on the outdoors as well as the indoors. On this wing, there are four bedrooms with en suites, a separate sitting room, a laundry and a study nook. But without a doubt, the star of the show is this master bedroom, or really, the proper term should be a master suite. You've got details like the glass coming together in the corner. It has one of the most immaculate walk-in robes I think I have ever seen. And then what about this? This extravagant bathroom. It has absolutely everything. The shower and toilet behind the wall this massive tub, your double basin, and with all of the reflections from the mirrors and the doors and the windows, you actually feel like you're completely immersed in nature. But believe it or not, this isn't a patch on what's out here. And that is another complete outdoor bathroom. Now, it's easy to see why the combination of indoors and out here saw this actually win the HIA 2016 Sunshine Coast and Queensland Bathroom That's of the Year. Special. This house really is immersed in nature. Remember, it's from a busy family, so they wanted a really relaxing home yeah. principally, and it absolutely is. From the frangipani shading the pool, the coconut tree with the hammock strung below it. Get all these beautiful landscape gardens at every window that you look at. This is magnificent modernism wrapped up in resort-style living. It even has its own veggie patch out the back. <laughs>